My first feature, the Coup d'etat factory, is a documentary about fake news and media buyers in Brazil, drawing pertinent parallels to the rest of Latin America and the UK. We've seen the big media nearly destroy Brazilian democracy. The media in Brazil has a history of lying and manipulating and for a hundred years it has been staging coup d'etats. In 2016 it staged a parliamentary coup d'etat. In 2018 it played a pivotal role in the political prison of Lula, paving the way for the election of Bolsonaro. Lula is the most popular president in the history of Brazil and he was set to win the elections in the first round in 2018. Uh, the media were not very happy with a left-wing government that had won four consecutive elections, thereby they helped to stage a very careful lawfare campaign. And what is a lawfare campaign? Lawfare campaign is when you weaponize the justice system, is when you frame someone for wrongdoing, for crimes which they did not commit. So they put Lula in prison and they elected Bolsonaro, which is uh, one of the most reactionary heads of state in the world as a neo-fascist president, someone who openly advocates torture, dictatorship, who is very vocal and overtly racist, misogynistic, homophobic, so all the worst qualities you, you can think of. So the media created this monster by destroying the democratic institutions in Brazil, by poisoning the population against the left, by constantly repeating the C word, corruption, 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 corruption. Therefore, convincing people that the left wing, particularly the Workers' Party of Brazil, is a criminal organization and creating a literal culture of hate. Brazil got to a point where you couldn't wear red on the streets, uh, you would be considered a communist. It may sound extreme, it is accurate. Um, and the media is responsible for creating that culture of hate. That media bias we're talking about is not confined to Brazil by any means. We have seen parallels in all the parts of Latin America, which is something my film discusses as well. And we have seen very pertinent parallels in the UK particularly um, the way the media portrayed um, Jeremy Corbyn uh, as an extremist, as a far-left leader with Russian inclinations, someone who was anti-patriotic and so on. Sadly, what's happening in Brazil is not exclusive, is not confined to what we like to think as the developing world. So the film ultimately raises a lot of questions about uh, media balance. Should we really implement uh, media balance legislation or could that backfire? I mean, are the media really, really intrinsically against the left? And what can we do in order to stop history from repeating itself? We've seen coup d'etats in Brazil and in pretty much every Latin American country in the past hundred years, always enthusiastically supported by the media, who is almost invariably owned by billionaires, and also with the tacit support from the United States. We must support independent media such as the Canary, because those are the voices that are not regurgitating what establishment um, and what billionaires have to say.